but hello YouTube. This is me. This is Amber Lynn. This is how I look when I'm walking. This is how I walk. This is me. <laughs> how are you doing? Your cousin Amber Lynn. Oh girl. Easily, I have lost over a thousand pounds. myself. Hey, Goral World. I'm back to irritate you with another rage video. Sorry in advance. This one was a tough edit. Enjoy! Are you gonna like... There we go. Hi. It wants to see you. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I look. Oh my god, I look so different on this. Wow. The difference. If you. In the way that I look is astronomical. So many compliments today. And did you keep your did you keep hearing I can't say her name. But she's like, you look sexy. I'm like like she kept saying it. That was funny. So the first time I ever saw this one, I thought she was gonna look completely different. My first impression of her was, she was super cute though, and I loved the beanie she was wearing, and she just looked like a cozy, like, chillax person. I saw Amber Lynn and I was just like, you know, she's gorgeous. I mean, why is she always so, no, I'm not, I don't like how I look. No, you look great that day. Why is she so self-obsessed? The way she stares at herself in the camera is a little scary. She also claims to get an insane amount of compliments all of the time. I ain't buying it, Pookie. How do you feel about Destiny's engagement? I get this question all the time, but I feel really happy for them. And I am super, super, super excited for them. And I thought like the engagement photos were really beautiful. Me and uh, Dana have the same dress, by the way. But yeah, I'm super happy. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, Amber's so jealous. Boo. Look at who I got, right? Her. Why do people assume you're still in love with Destiny? Okay, so we're gonna do a little tea spilling here, and Destiny doesn't even know this, so I'm sure you guys will message her. So when I first got with Becky, I was very open about everything that I was feeling, what I've been through. That's just the type of person I am. I wanna say probably upwards to a year, year and a half after Destiny and I broke up, I was still in love with her. I was able to separate that though from the love that I felt for Becky. I was also in love with Becky. And I know there's like this like thing where people like, you can't be in love with two people at once. You can. <laughs> this is tea. I already know the answer to this. Did any of you ever have feelings for another person during your relationship? <laughs> yeah, Becky, you liked someone else? But no. we're together? She had to think about that, I feel like. Well, not with you. It was oh, that's different. Just, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like. Which I did not act upon it. Tell me? Obviously, no. Like, 
I feel like if you have feelings for someone else while you're in a relationship, that's like mentally cheating. Not good. Yes. <laughs> She's so ready to shame Beck there when she was the one that admitted she was in love with Destiny while being with Beck. So by her logic, she is a cheater. And she is also a liar because she told us she never even loved Beck. I truly think Amber is just a bad person. My breakups always are very healthy. Yeah, Becky and I do not want to be in a relationship with anyone. Yeah. No. We've both decided that that's just not Right. Yeah. No. I mean, I'll just speak for myself. We've talked about it, but I don't want to be in a relationship. I know I have a bad record of always finding someone like a month after a breakup, but I cannot see myself ever remotely looking at someone like I looked at you. And then in the future, whenever you're like, yeah, Becky, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. And she's like, oh my God. Uh. And you're like, see, I'm not having another girlfriend ever. I don't want one either. I mean that. Same. Do I have someone currently calling me wifey? Yeah, I do, I'm gonna be honest. But it's not like that, I promise. Like it's not, it's, no relationship is happening at all. I can promise you that. <laughs> there we go. Except that I do have a girlfriend now. Will I be showing her on camera? No. This is my girlfriend. Ugh, such a manipulative, lying person. She was only saying that in hopes that Beck wouldn't move on, because Amber did the exact opposite of what she said she would do. She got another girlfriend friend quickly. I've honestly lost count on how many she's had since her and Beck split. There's been several. This is a raw, live weigh-in. Um, here we go. Super nervous. 430.2. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. I'm gonna step on it for a second time. I'm sure that was accurate, but it's good to do it again for a 30.2. So I have never been that big in my whole entire life. How much is it? For 30.2. I think it's more than 30.2. I'm almost like halfway to 500 pounds, if that makes sense. Do you realize that? You're beautiful. Stop. You are. Sorry. Ooh. Put my hand up here to just give me balance. Step on. Bam. 554.4 pounds. 554.4. Do you see it? Mm hmm. You guys can see me through the reflection. I'm not wearing pants, so. Come out. It's ready. Five hundred and sixty-seven point four pounds. Crying at 430 pounds and yelling whoop whoop at 567 pounds. Makes sense. She stopped caring at all apparently. But it's Becky's fault. There's still a little bit more. Come on baby, shake it. Shake it like a salt shaker. Smells good. Doesn't it? Baby. She is. <laughs> baby, God. People called my butt a, uh, bookshelf or something. Wait, what'd they call it? I forget. Show them my butt. Yes, I got a big butt. All right. But it but. suits me. <laughs> it suits me. I like it. I love it. I turn around and you see my big caboose and the shirt will not go over my butt at all. So very, very let down with that, but it's all right. Who is gonna tell her that half of that is actually her back? And she said it suits her? LOL never heard of anyone saying 500 pounds of excess fat suits them. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, girl. Walk. Walk, walk, walk.